Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one stop location for your simulation releases and news from the week that was. Alrighty folks, so we're going to jump straight into it this week, we're going to jump in with a VR release. So this is Final Approach. Now, if you're looking for realism, you're not going to find it here. Let, let's just be clear about here. This is a VR sort of play and uh, technology demonstrator kind of thing. But it just looks like it's so much fun, it really is. Uh, long story short, it's designed for use with the HTC Vive um, and some track motion controllers. Um, and it can it's actually one of the first titles to actually take full, ex uh, full use of not only just um, uh, like sitting down VR, but actually using, you can actually use a full room. So that's pretty damn cool, pretty damn epic. Um, long story short, it's an arcade sort of style game um, where you can do things, you can fly jets and helicopters, you can uh, rescue people, you can destroy stuff, you defend ships, you uh, support, you know, you uh, rescue people from towering infernos and clear traffic jams and all sorts of bizarre stuff. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, it's got a story mode. Um, it just looks whacked, but really kind of cool as well. If you've got VR, if you've got access to VR, and you want something fun and something weird and different, I honestly don't think you can go past this one. I really don't think. I think this looks absolutely cool. I really do. So yeah, this one's uh, and interesting enough, it's had a th it's had a price drop based on uh, initial releases because we had a slew of VR releases in the last week. Um, you know what? I I'm just gonna call this one and say, you know what? Just pick it up, support the devs uh, because this just looks absolutely hilarious. It really does. So if you want a break from realistic flying and you got VR. Have a look at this one. Really, it's a final approach available on Steam now. All right, now that we've got the fun stuff away out of the way, let's move into the more serious uh, side of uh, flight simulation now. So we've got a few releases uh, have happened this week in the world of flight simulation. So the first one we saw is a, well, you know, it's like a lot of the stuff for, for FSX Steam Edition. Um, it's not a new release per se. Um, this is Aerosoft's uh, Zurich Airport. Um, so this one's been around for, uh, it's been around for about a year or two now. Uh, it's been around a while, but it's uh, it's now make, made its way onto FSX Steam Edition. Um, so if you didn't have it already and you only use FSX Steam uh, as your uh, simulator, not a bad little way to, to uh, introduce this yourself to this one. Um, it's a re built it's a it's a design version based on 2011 data so it's a pretty pretty new pretty good stuff as well um, you've got all sorts of really cool custom buildings including the jet engine test sites um, and there's and like beautiful like board the transparent board boarding bridges yeah, boarding bridges as well which looks absolutely stunning they really do um, and a complete updated uh, VOR DME NEB and all your navigation aids as well they're all fully updated and running as per the uh, 2011 data and uh, yeah it just looks really really cool as well um, so it can handle uh, crosswind landings as well and so the ATC will sort of change around with stuff like that uh, and all the great seasonal colouring and ve vegetation and uh, changes throughout the seasons as well. Uh, if you do uh, use simulators uh, F6 simulation and other sims as well like P3D uh, then probably might be worth picking this up from uh, Aerosoft directly. Otherwise I said this one is available now for F6 simulation from the Steam store now. Alrighty, in other scenery releases this week, for the guys who still use FS9 or Flight Simulator 2004, uh, so uh, the uh, the guys from, well, not the guys, the guy, uh, Jozeki Design, um, so I reported on this a few uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Lima Uniform Kilo Kilo Shiznau uh, was, uh, 20 for 2016, was released uh, recently for uh, the other main simulator platforms, it has now finally come across onto FS9 as well, so if you are still an FS9 player and you, st and you want to enjoy this beautiful looking airport it is available now from you for you from your favorite flight sim retailer so um, as of course you know I'm not going to go too into it to much detail as well because we've sort of I've gone through that before but as I said uh, it uh, if you are an FS9 player don't worry you have not been forgotten it has now been uh, released for you as well and optimized for use in FS9 so looking absolutely spot-on and amazing for you 
Alrighty, uh, continuing on with the scenery releases this week. So another Aerosoft release this week. So this one's available from your favorite flight sim store. So this is Aspen Extended. So um, Aerosoft released uh, Aspen uh, quite a few years ago, back in uh, 2007 um, was their original version, um, which was sort of based on 2006 data. And, uh, it, and, and for the time, it was groundbreaking. It was great. Uh, and now it has been completely rebooted. So developer Matthew Dalton has gone through and completely redone it updated everything complete to new uh, 2015 data uh, including the new uh, FBO uh, the extended runway as well uh, and the new taxiways that have been put in as well so beautiful new renditions of that one <coughs> excuse me what's also been great is they've redone the actual um, the, the, not only have they redone the airport, but they've redone the surrounding scenery as well. So they've done over 100 square kilometres of uh, high-res photo scenery um, for the whole of the Aspen uh, Aspen Valley. Uh, they've also done a, and, uh, a mesh, a brand new mesh as well, which is a lot of 13, five metre mesh of, for over 2,400 square kilometres around the Rocky Mountains um, through Aspen. So not only can you enjoy uh, Aspen as the airport itself, you can enjoy the absolutely stunning, majestic views of the Rocky Mountains around it as well, uh, which of course is the reason why everybody flies into this place as well. Uh, so we've got new, uh, new, as I said, uh, new custom models have been done there as well. And what's really kind of cool for me, I know it's a small thing, but this is the kind of detail I really like in my airports, is they've actually done a fully animated um, gondola that goes all the way up to Ajax. Uh, so it's called, apparently it's called the Silver Queen. I did not know that until, the, uh, until getting ready for this um, this uh, this episode today. Uh, but yeah, it's fully animated and we'll go all the way from the base uh, near the airport to the mountaintop and just it looks absolutely stunning from the screens and it gives you a great way to sort of, you know, great little nifty little thing. You can follow it up with a helicopter and you just admire some of the absolutely beautiful scenery there as well. Included as well is all the approach plates that you will need for for flying in uh, to the airfield using uh, VFR and IFR as well. So all the local landmarks included. Looking absolutely amazing, and uh, they've paid special attention to the emergency helipad that's there as well, the Aspen Valley Hospital, uh, which I feel gets used quite often with uh, probably the number of skiing accidents on uh, on Aspen in Aspen as well. So there you go. Anyway, folks, as I said, this is available now from your favourite flight sim retailer for all versions of the ESP platform. So, uh, well, not all versions, but yeah, the F6, F6 SE, and P3D, all versions is now available now. Alrighty, moving away from the world of flight simulation for the moment and moving on to the world of the permanent way. So we're going over to Train Simulator today. So Train Simulator has had a few releases in this week. So they've been quite quiet for a while, but they've kind of come uh, back to the fore with three releases in the last week. Uh, so this uh, release this week, we've got uh, one new route and uh, two new trains. So we've got the uh, South Wales Coastal Route is there. Um, so this is the uh, the uh, branch line that sort of goes through uh, to the to the uh, to the coastline from the Great Western Main. Uh, main line, uh, which is the direct connection between London and uh, South Wales, and this goes through some beautiful uh, river crossings and uh, going past some absolutely stunning mountain peaks and beautiful uh, scenery is there as well um, for uh, all the uh, the coal mines throughout Wales, and um, and it really does go through and actually sort of uh, emphasise all that stuff going through that. Yeah, there is a lot of the freight services in there as well. As well as passenger service, and uh, the freight, as yeah, freight remains a, a key part of this route and continues its operation as well. At the moment, it is not an electrified line, so this is only for your uh, your diesel or steam trains at the moment. Uh, you do get uh, eight scenarios in uh, included to, with this route, route as well, as well as a couple of locomotives and freight wagons as well. So you've got uh, the Aravia trains, uh, Wales Class 175, Freightliner Class 70, and the Great Western Rail Class 43 are all included as part of this pack. So a great value pack with this one as well and as I said you've got uh, eight scenarios included available now on Steam and uh, with uh, to go with those one is the Aravia, Aravia Trains Wales DMU pack um, so this is the uh, British Rail Class 143 and 158 so a couple of trains with this one as well so these trains were introduced uh, in uh, the 1985 1986 sort of period uh, and working originally uh, in the northeast of England uh, but were later sort of uh, moved down to Wales and southwest England um, since they were considered to be more suitable for those ones as well uh, aluminum construction and uh, looking beautifully done as with his, uh, with their diesel engines and looking absolutely amazing for this one so it looking pretty damn cool and it is nice to see that you can see you get two trains for the price of one with this one 
Uh, completely in the Arabia Trains uh, Wales livery as well. Uh, so it is designed, uh, it does have a couple of scenarios in there though, they are designed uh, with to, to, to work with the South Wales Coastal Bristol to Cardiff route, uh, so uh, not the one that's just come out but another one and uh, yeah, as I said the uh, all in there as well. Uh, of course fully quick drive compatible and uh, looking for other uh, fully workshop compatible for other scenarios as well. Alright, beyond that we saw another one of the uh, the, the 1.5 series classes were released as well. Uh, so it was the uh, this is the class 1.5.6, so this one's, uh, uh, this one's uh, a little bit expensive and, and quite uh, in uh, Excuse me. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite, it's quite high price for what it is, which I'm a bit surprised at. Um, uh, yeah, especially considering that it doesn't really, it, it only has uh, a couple of, uh, it only, it has four s scenarios in there as well. Um, sorry, six scenarios over there, um, which are interesting. It's got an interesting spread of scenarios as well, um, as it's uh, it, was, it was originally done for British Rail as a super sprinter and running at 75 uh, miles an hour and sort of like in the in the 19. Um, in the 19, late 1980s, um, and I'm a little bit. Um, th this one sort of just puts me off a little bit. I'm not sure why, um, but it, there's a lot of notes with this one as well, because um, this one's come from OV Game Studios uh, rather than being a dovetail in-house production. Uh, and uh, it's interesting. So it can be controlled using the in-game HUD driver interface or Xbox controller. So you actually have to use the uh, the, the the virtual cab, as it were. Uh, you can't actually use the the uh, HUD that you might be used to, or definitely I'm used to using for my trains. So yeah, that's an interesting note for that one, and. Um, and, and it covers a, a different scenarios there, uh, which works for the uh, Great Western Mainline route, the East Coast Mainline route, uh, which is the Newcastle to York, uh, and the Test Track route. So it's it's interesting um, sort of scenarios with that one. So, but yeah, it looks looks not too bad. But as I said, just the the pricing seems a bit odd for me um, for a single train with fairly limited. Um, uh, additions on that one. So, yeah. Anyway, but if this is a train for you, uh, then this is available now on Steam. Alright, moving from the permanent way to the asphalt today, so we're moving on to the first release of DLC for Bus Simulator 16. So this one, Bus Simulator 16 was released uh, a, a couple of months, uh, a month or so ago, and this is their first DLC pack, which is a officially licensed man bus, the Lion City A47M. So it's a 10.5 metre bus with uh, two doors and uh, designed to be used uh, on sort of, you know, very congested uh, roads and very congested cities, so it is a quite a compact bus. And and uh, familiar sites in uh, in your on European roads, and uh, funny enough, also in on uh, some Australian roads as well. So there you go, interesting uh, side, uh, interesting sort of link to the colonies there. As it, uh, this one comes through uh, with the uh, the one vehicle, uh, it's in the 29 seating passenger one. Uh, it's got a couple of couple of interesting points. I'm not quite sure how these work, but anyway, uh, so it's got three very special decals as well as three colourful advertising banners. So it's all part of the. It adds a little few extra bonuses to your general uh, simulator experiences. And the de decals and the advertising banners can be used on all other buses currently available in game as well. Uh, and uh, interesting enough, it is fully compatible with multiplayer, and it's it seems that they've gone something similar to a DCS style route where even if you um, even if your friends don't have uh, the add-on you can still play um, online with them uh, they'll still see you but you know they just can't drive it it's only you that can drive it because you're the only one with the expansion pack so that's kind of cool and a couple of extra tracks for your in-bus radio so there you go apparently that, that's a key selling point apparently anyway folks uh, that is available now at, at a pretty cool price only two bucks uh, so uh, two bucks US so if, if you got busted with 16 you could probably shell out you know skip, skip one of the uh, one of the weekly coffees and, uh, and grab yourself this bus. Uh, looking quite, looking basic, but at the same time, looking kind of cool for the add-on for this one. So that is the first release of DLC for Bus Simulator 16. Alrighty folks, so that pretty much rounds out the news for this week, but I do want to highlight one particular add-on that's come out this week. Now this is a freeware add-on. Um, now this this freeware add-on is a culmination of work from a few developers from the last probably the last about five years. Um, so the ship traffic that's in default FSX and P3D is is 
pretty useless. There's not a great deal of it. It's it's pretty pretty non-existent. Um, so there's been a project going on for quite a while, and various developers have put into it at various different times, where they've um, you know produced you know new AI models of ships and, and produced routes for it and traffic uh, BGL files for you know various parts of the globe. Um, what's going to happen is is that a, a couple of passionate enthusiasts of the AI ship services um, have actually gone together and they've actually amalgamated all the really good quality ones and they've put them all together as one single pack and one single download. Um, be warned, this is you know this is uh, almost half a gig this download. Um, but look, it, it I've been using it on and off. I've been using it for a while now, and I think it is a beautiful way to add some great sense to your simulator. Um, I don't normally use AI traffic very much. I, you know, I, the stuff of flying I do, I don't really need it. Um, so for me, um, but the also the kind of flying that I do is a lot of to do a lot of low and slow. So being able to see ships and, and it really brings your coastlines to life. And the the CAD files are done really really well and designed to work um, in, with no matter what kind of mesh you've got or, or scenery or anything like that. It's designed to work. The offsets have been done. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, as I said. This is, a, I, I think, a, a must-have for all FSX and P3D users, absolutely. The great part about this is that even if you uh, haven't heard of it before and you only come across it now, this is actually the best time for you to get it now because the package that's been released now is fully compatible across FSX, FSX Steam Edition, and P3D, all of its versions, um, and it has been optimized for 2.5 and 3 especially. Um, so it's a simple drag and drop install. Um, there's also uh, KMZ files as well. So if you want to look for a specific ship and a specific route, uh, you can also look for that as well, which is really really cool. Um, highly recommended. Available now. Um, it, it was initially uploaded to the AvSim library. It's also popped up on a few other freeware sites, um, including FlightSim.com. So guys, um, if there's one piece of freeware that you should get, you really should get this as well, like for traffic. Uh, as I said, I no, no, don't normally talk about AI traffic because I don't use it a lot, but the AI ship traffic uh, version one, global AI ship traffic version one, I really, really strongly recommend it. So I really highly recommend that you grab it. All right, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. That does now wrap up the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, if you uh, want to catch up with me and all the things I'm up to uh, between videos, you can find me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.